Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Do It Does It. My name is Given Mbata, and if you are new here, welcome to the DIY family. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, welcome back. And firstly, before I start, I just want to apologize. I know I have not uploaded in a very long time, but I've been very busy with my exams and yeah. But to make it up to you guys, today's video is going to be a special one because we are going to be doing two DIYs just as a way for me to apologize to you guys and to make it up to you. I'm going to be doing, doing two DIYs for you guys. So yay, stay tuned for that. And yeah, let's get started. Okay guys, so all we're going to be doing is we're going to be making designer books from these three old books that I've had for a while now. So preferably when you also go get the book, get a book with a hard cover or a book with this so that you can remove it. And yeah, all you're going to need also somewhere to pour your acrylic paint. I'm going to be using the black and the white acrylic paint. Here's my black one. And I'm going to be pouring my paint in here. It's clean. And a little bit of water, some glue, and brushes. And most importantly, our designer brands. So I've already printed out some of them that I like, some of the brands that I like. I've printed it out. So you do this first so that when you start the job, you're ready and some scissors and that's it. So first thing you need to do is you need to remove the cover pages of your books. Remove all your cover pages. going to take your brush and then you're going to dip it in water and then just dab all the water out so I'm going to be starting with the black books with the black paint And don't be shy to go with even bigger books if you like. I just went with the books that I had lying around at home. I didn't have bigger books. I would have loved maybe one really thick book. So in total, I think I did about four coats of every book, both the black um, acrylic paint as well as the white acrylic paint. I did about four coats in order to really, really, really cover it and let it blend in properly. The look I'm going for for my books, I want two black books and one white book. At this point, we're now just painting the white book. So you're going to need your brush, dip it in water, and then just dab the water out. I also did about three to four, no, I did four coats for the white, four or five coats for the white, because I was changing the color of the book entirely. So I did about five coats of the white acrylic paint.
going to finish the rest of the painting of camera remember to let your acrylic paint dry at every coat so let it dry and then i will see you guys on the flip side So once your books have dried, then you're just going to take the brands that you printed out. I'm just checking if I need a cover page. Okay, so you take your brand and then you're going to align it with the book just to make sure that it's the correct size as I'm doing. And also to guide you to know where exactly to cut. After cutting out our brand paper, I'm just measuring to check if it looks good and then grab your glue, apply the glue a little bit on the book as well as the paper you just cut out. Voila, this is what it looks like. I really was thinking of putting a cover page, but I changed my mind and thought it's really not going to be necessary considering the fact that there's going to be other books on top of this. So the cover page is not really necessary, but you can do it if you want. I just changed my mind. And then for the next book, we're going to be doing the Chanel and I do want a cover page for this one. So I'm just cutting out my cover page. So please don't mind me but after cutting out our cover page and then i'm just going to stick it to be honest the cover page is not really necessary it's just nice to have but it's not really necessary so after that as you guys can see that part there is not really blending in with the book so i really do advise that you take your brush and your acrylic paint and you let it blend in if that makes any sense so you put your acrylic paint on top from where the paper ends and then you just blend it in i really really do advise you guys to do this step because then that's what really gave my designer box that flawless look and you couldn't even tell this is paper after doing this I really do advise this step. If you have uh, an even smaller brush, that would be perfect. As you can see, I am just trying to make it work with the brush I have. 
but if you've got a smaller brush i think it will still look very good because then you can get in there in the tight corners where it shows the paper and you just blend it in So that's our final look, uh, they are our designer books. Okay, and then our second project is this center table coffee table. Um, I remember on my apartment tour, I asked you guys to suggest some ideas for this table, what I can do to it. And a lot of you guys did suggest and thank you so much for everybody who well, thank you so much to everybody who suggested what I can do. And yeah, I finally settled on something and I'm very excited to show you guys what I'm going to be doing. And I hope it turns out well. So all you're going to need in order to achieve what I'm doing is some contact paper. I went with the marble gray. Marble grey contact paper, a squeegee to apply the contact paper, and Rust-Oleum. Well, you don't really need to buy Rust-Oleum. You can buy any brand, but then I'm going to be going with the metallic gold for this, and Allen keys because yeah, my table. Let me just show you guys. Uh. I hope this will show. Be gentle. I need to unscrew it using an Allen key. So I'm just going to grab my screwdriver and then I'm going to unscrew to remove the table frame. So that's what you're going to need in order to apply your contact paper but please also make sure you prep your wood before you just apply the contact paper. Wipe it down a little, take a wet cloth, wipe it down and then dry it so that it's clean. So now, um, as you guys can see, I didn't really take my measurements correctly. So I ran out of contact paper and I had to rush to get another one. As you can see, the side, the edge, that side doesn't have contact paper and there's no more left in order for me to complete.
so I went and purchased my other contact paper I apologize for the camera angle but this is it completed now and you can see where we had to cut out but it's not bad so now we've reached my favorite part which is the spray painting as you all know i love spray painting and we're just going to be spray painting it gold my favorite color Won't you look at that gold? Come on, you can't tell me you don't love this gold. I love, 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 love this. And obviously, what's a DIY without me getting a little bit too excited with spray paint? So I decided to spray paint my wooden tray from that wooden brown to this matte black because I always get too excited with spray paint And then this is it so all I'm doing now is tightening my screws and I've already put the top on the top wood of the table So now it's time for the reveal and voila here is our table with the marble top with a gold frame beautiful 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 I love it honestly now I'm so in love with my coffee table this is like wow I really hope you guys like it as well as much as I do I personally think this turned out very well let me know in the comment section below what you guys think but otherwise thank you very much we have reached the end of our video and thank you for watching up until this point 
please don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and to leave a comment to let me know what you think and thank you so much to everybody who suggested this diy i really appreciate it and till next time bye